Hello YouTube, my name is Hero, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Commonwealth trailer that we just got yesterday, as well as taking a look at some of the things in the trailer that kind of connect back to with what we told or what we were told to expect from Commonwealth Part 2. But before we begin, I just want to say a few things for you guys who don't know. I saw a lot of people in the comments from the trailer saying that um, too bad only a few people of the community would be able to access this area because it's just too too high level and too too difficult. And I just want to let you guys know that that is not the case. I've been trying to tell you guys for months now that Comic Self Part 2 is kind of Pearl Abyss's way of explaining to everyone or or you know getting everyone to understand that this game is not meant only for the the top 10 percent this game is meant for everyone um and of course you have to put in a little bit of work to get to level 55 you know 56 get your awakening and everything like that but after you get your awakening it, it, pretty much common self part two is, is available for you as well uh it, they have a lot of different areas that they talked about in the uh, live stream where they announced the the area that it would be coming this summer in korea so there's a lot of places for everyone to go to and um so we're just gonna go we're, we're just gonna go talk about these things and see what you guys think so this is the first area that has been revealed and uh obviously can't know the name of it because it's in korean and uh, yada 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 but this looks to be some kind of fort it didn't look to be like an area where you could grind at it looked like a node uh however when we get further down here to this area, it actually still looks like a node. I don't think those are mobs, but maybe they are. Uh, those blue wolves, I thought they were friendly, uh, but I guess not. And then here we go. Here we are. They're just showing the area. A lot of people thought, man, this doesn't look very good because there's a lot of grass and we've seen grass before, but I don't know. It's just the, the elven vibe that you get. This is definitely another node. This is a huge, huge node. Uh, I don't think this, well, it could be similar to Western Guard Camp kind of thing. So this is a pretty cool place. Uh, I think that would be a, a great resting point for a lot of people. Okay, then we go over here some more. Go further, further into Common Self Part 2. And we have a whole mountain area that I'm sure you could climb on top of and that's very cool of course and then we go down here and the great thing about this area is one thing i've always said about black desert is they know how to capture nature they have some of the best nature capture like the way the terrain is it's just fantastically built and designed it just looks incredible okay so we're gonna go further down here now this is this is where we start seeing mobs obviously there's centaurs and things like that now the thing about common Soul part 2 is the mobs kind of group up together in, in small groups and then you go to the next group that there's a reason for that is because the mobs are usually very difficult to kill okay so th these mobs are very very dense as you can see here it's kind of akin to mancha forest but the mobs are supposed to be very very tanky so you won't be just shredding through them in fact you may need a group depending on your gear and no matter what level you are and, and no matter what how much gear you have you may need a group most likely the common self part two is intended for group play or at least that's what they said it was intended for group play but it's also intended for everyone above level 54 but i personally would recommend getting your awakening before coming here then we have a beautiful, beautiful waterfall, and another beautiful waterfall, and just more environment. This place is so big. If you just try to take in, this is a new area that's being added. And there we go, we have more mobs. This is clearly the mushroom area. This is more of the area that I'm pretty sure is going to be for the lowest level possible that they talked about in the in the stream, in the live stream, where they talked about where they're gonna be. This is probably gonna be the lowest area possible mushroom forests and things like that this is very akin to what they said it would be there would be a lot of there's going to be hazardous things around here that's what they said like poison from the mushrooms i'm assuming so this is going to be where you're going to be at pretty much if you're low level so expect to be there that's the lowest level area and then we go over here to even more beautiful beautiful vistas it is amazing how big this place is guys if you could just take it in it's, it's it's huge and you gotta imagine it's being added on top of what we already have in the game it's breathtaking how huge this place is 
and it looks great as a matter of fact it looks very good there's a lot of different variations even though there's a lot of grass and then this underground area here this is for the higher levels this is what was intended for the highest level people to come this is for the level 60 plus people this underground area here this is not for you know the newer players to come so this is this is what this is what the continuation of black desert is going to be apparently or hopefully for the for the game where people will be going for 62 63 64 here so this is this is hopefully that hopefully that's what it is but it's definitely definitely 100 percent for the higher level players they said that that's what it would be in the live stream that i keep referring to okay and um, i'm assuming up here yep these are the same kind of mobs so as well it's going to be for the higher level players as well and all of this area pretty much is just for them it's really not for you uh for the for the smaller or the newer players or the players who don't have as much gear or much levels you don't want to come here this is definitely definitely the place for the higher level people also with the release of comic Silk part two there may also be new accessories and new 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 gear new boss gear new bosses and that's also very exciting it gives us a uh, more flexibility in our builds i don't think they're going to make the gear too much better i don't think we're going to see like a like an ogre ring that, that starts at 11 and goes up by six or something like that i don't think we're going to get anything like that but we are most likely going to get some new gear they said that that was going to happen they also said that we were going to get um we were going to get uh new boss armor as well uh, we've already gotten the new bosses in korea there have been some new bosses that drop new boss armor but it didn't change much so maybe we'll get some even more bosses that actually have an effect on the game now this area um not too sure what, what, what this place is but i'm assuming this area is for the middle ground so there's the mushroom area for the lower level players and then there's the deep underground area for the higher level players and then there's another player uh, is another place for those people in between those people in between like say 58 to 60 i need a good place to grind might be a place for them and this is of course Kamasov. we finally reached it the the city itself and it just looks beautiful it really does the the art style the architecture is just fantastic once again they've outdone themselves with this location um, I'm assuming that this place will actually become the new hub of Black Desert, honestly, because there's literally everyone's going to be here. There's going to be level 60 pluses here, level low level people here. There's going to be people in the middle of the high rankings here. It's going to be everyone here. And I, I really am excited to see how, how packed this place gets at depending on um, how much people want to come here. Hopefully there are more incentives to be here other than just being near grind spots, obviously. But yeah, this is definitely going to open up a lot of places for you guys who are trying to catch up out elsewhere as well. So you may want to stay at Sauce and things like that. But who wouldn't want to come to the new area? I mean, seriously. Anyways, guys, this place looks amazing. I can't wait to see it in game. Um, thank you guys for watching. That's my kind of view on it. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace.